Hello, Help Me Dogs, welcome back to the channel. Bloody 11 years to the day we signed Jamie Vardy. Woohoo! Anyway, let's get to it. It's news roundup time. Press conference has happened. Dean Smith has had his word on the Newcastle game coming up, including all updates to the squad who's injured, who's coming back. Blah, 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 blah. Let's get into this. Make sure you smash the likes on the video. Hit the subscribe button as well and follow me on all socials at Lee underscore Chappie. Like I just said, all of my handles are in the description of the video. We cover news, we cover rumours, gossip, transfers, we even do watch-alongs on the show here on the channel. So there's plenty of Leicester content for you even if we do stay up or if we go down. Probably will be going down to be honest, but we'll still be here covering it all. So... Make sure you subscribe. Right, let's get to it. Right, up first, we've got Dean Smith talking nonsense about Leicester fighting for their lives, I suppose. Because we are. We're fighting for our lives. But apparently, according to One Football, this coming from an article from One Football, Dean Smith has actually backed up the lads and said that he had, they have put in the work, that they matched Liverpool for energy and, and commitment. I don't know about that one. Um, this is what he had to say. Um, he says, I don't need to pay homage to the players. I've inherited the squad and not brought any of them in, said the boss, who saw the Foxes lose 3-0 to Liverpool on Monday. And we all did. I can openly criticise them if I need to, but I don't think I need to, and I choose not to because the work ethic I see is there. The numbers I get from my performance department prove to me it's there. The thing which is missing is keeping clean sheets and making fewer mistakes in the defensive third. It's out of our hands because if other teams get the results, there is nothing we can do. We just have to concentrate on Newcastle and get the win. If we get the performance we are capable of and minimise mistakes, not a problem. We are in a position we don't want to be in. Our job is to get out of it. Our job hasn't changed from eight games when I came in to two games. If you look at it realistically, it was going to be tough to get points from Man City and Liverpool. Other games, we would have expected to get points. I don't know what to say on that, because I didn't see no fight against Liverpool. I didn't see the energy or the drive. I saw, I saw nothing. Whatever he's saying, I did not see. And I know a lot of fans didn't see it either. But the press conference carried on um, earlier today. And there's some firing questions away at uh, Dean Smith. Here are just some of the questions from Jordan Blackwell. Um, how is Siunchu getting on, Jordan said. Uh, and his, <laughs> he, he replied, jogging slowly. The plan is to potentially get him back for the last game. So there will be no Soyuncu again. No cags for the Newcastle game coming up at the weekend. Also, another news. KDH, Jusby Hall, has had an injection. And is currently struggling to get into the game. He will be back training Saturday and we'll see how he goes. Oh, dear me, we really do need someone in the middle because I just feel like we're going to completely collapse against Newcastle in the middle. I just got a feeling. Um, but the best news we've heard is, of course, Kalichi Iheanacho's massive return. Thankfully, it's looking set that Kalichi Iheanacho will be fit for Leicester City's clash against Newcastle on Monday. The striker has missed the past three games with a groin, well, a groin tear or a strain, I suppose, whatever you want to call it, um, in the one-all draw against Leeds. Uh, and he even passed the ball forwards to help us get a goal, um, thankfully. Uh, it's looking like he will be back. Uh, it was initially suspected that he would struggle to return before the end of the season, uh, but he's responded really, really well to treatment and is recovering very quickly. So manager Dean Smith also said they, they have had to push him to get uh, to the point where he is available. Um, it should help boost... The Leicester players up top. I, I hope, I hope 
that Clichy Nacho starts. I, I really feel like he had something up top with Vardy in particular. Hopefully we play two up top. Um, I'm not sure who who's going to get dropped from the last game. Um, some of those players just did not look up for it, like Yuri Tielemans and James Madison. They just did not look like the players that we had a couple of years ago when we, when we lifted the FA Cup. But one player that I do want to start has to be Kalichi Nacho. Um, we just hope that Everton, you know, and Wolves and the Forest and Arsenal game go our way at the weekend. Else we will be already gone by the time the game comes round. Um, but uh, a bit more further updates from Dean Smith. Um, just still we're just talking about improving the defense and stuff uh, he said that we know we have to improve the defense it's his biggest concern um i don't think we've taken the lead we've conceded the first goal in 19 of 20 games we've conceded too many and i've had a defensive uh, it's, it's fragile absolutely fragile is it basically is what he's saying it's something that we've really going to have to try and work on in training We'll get sorted because the game's coming around as soon as you know it's literally coming around the corner. He needs to sort it out. Um, Liverpool reflections again on that. Uh, our, our, our goalkeeper didn't make a save for 32 minutes, Dean Smith said, and I agree. I thought we was well in it in the first half an hour. I thought, you know what, we're containing this. Liverpool just didn't have anything going forwards and didn't look like they were linking up with play, but. As soon as they scored, it was panic stations. We completely frazzled, you know, and, and sometimes I suppose you've got to give credit to the opposition um, on that because they were all over us once that goal went in. They they seen the weakness, they smelt blood, and they went out for the kill. Um, but that another question thrown at uh, Dean Smith from Jordan Blackwell was that the only game that they'll be watching is Newcastle uh, tonight, which is uh, obviously... A little bit later on this evening. Um, he's not going to be interested in the games at the weekend. I mean, I'm sure he is really. I think he's just saying that, to be honest with you. I know I would be if I was manager. There's no point not looking at the opposition at the bottom. Um, you, you've got to sort of look at it and think, well, if they've won, we're done. You know, I'd watch it. Personally, I am going to watch it at the weekend. The fans, though, come into question. So this is what Dean Smith said about you, the faithful Foxes fans. The fans are the most important part of the club. 2-0 down at half-time, players are going to get stuck. Um, coaches have to look at it more rationally. We need our supporters. I don't need to pay homage to these players. I think I already mentioned that. I didn't buy them. He's inherited them. I can't criticise the players. The work ethic is there, is what he's saying. Um, and we're just... It's simple as that. Again, he's saying we've just got to stop making mistakes and the fans will get behind the team. Listen, there's not a lot more time to really go over. There's not a lot more news. Um, I can update you on Johnny Evans from uh, One Football. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with Johnny Evans going forwards. Apparently, he's ready and he's fit to, to play and he will fit back into the squad. It's been tough for him. Uh, he's been out for quite some time. Uh, he's been training for about three, four weeks. Um, to get back into the side. Um, he looked a little bit rusty against Liverpool, I must say, but I think that experience and potential leadership, I suppose, of, of Johnny Evans' qualities is going to help. And I think he will I think he will start on Monday night. Uh, if there's no cags, I think he'll start with Fars again. Um, but look, I don't know about KDH. We really don't know if he's going to make it. Like I said, he's training on Saturday. His ankle... Uh, he's had injections. There's a stat somewhere that we haven't won a game if uh, KDH hasn't played for the, I think it's the first half, for the 45 minutes or something. Um, so I, I don't know. I'll have to have a look at that again for you at some point. But it's important that we get maybe KDH back for at least the last game, I hope. Fingers crossed. But uh, Foxes, let me know in the chat what your thoughts are. Are you happy about Kalichi Nacho coming back? I am. I hope he starts. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on anything else that I've just discussed or anything else that you think will affect the game on Monday. Are you going to watch the weekend's fixtures? Are you going to watch uh, Forest and Arsenal? Let me know. Are you going to watch Everton's game? Wolves? 
let me know in the comments. Make sure you follow me on social media. I'm all over the place at Liam Score Chappy. All my handles are in the description. And you can click them and they'll take you to the app. And just press follow. Easy peasy. Make sure you subscribe as well and leave a like on the video. And I shall see you very, very soon on the channel. See you in a bit.